Welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And we have quantitative reasoning book C from Lantern Step Quantitative Reasoning, page 81. And we have this problem before us. Thank you for tuning in today. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel as a new viewer, kindly do so now. So we have four, two, three, 18. Here we have 25, 5, 4, 80. Here we have 49, 7, 7, and 343, right? So we're going to unravel this uh, problem here. So we can use any of these uh, examples, right? So let's start with this. So we have to find four. So let's find four. So we are going to have two squared. Two squares imply two times two, four. Okay. So let's find two, which is the direct opposite of the square. We have to find two. We can rightly say square root of four which is 2. To find 18, to find 18, right? So we're going to have 2 times 3 is 6, right? 2 times 3, 6. Now, 6, the 6 you have gotten, multiply by this same 3. Right, so whatever number is here, you multiply again. So we're going to have six, we've gotten times this three, right? So we're going to have a uh, 18. Okay, so we've gotten 18. So next, we're going to find is a uh, three. So to find three. All right, so we're going to have this 18, 18 divided by this 2 is 9. We'll go ahead to say whatever it is we've got in here, square root of 9 is 3. So we're going to apply the same principle here and see how it goes. To find 25... We're going to have 5 squared equals 5 times 5. Find 5. To find 5, we're going to have square root of 20, which is equal to 5. To find 80. So we're going to find 80. To find 80, we're going to have... We have 5 times 4, which is 20. 20 times the number here, which is 4. 20 times 4 is 80. That's for 80. So to find 4, the last number for this, we're going to have 80, 80 divided by 5 is 16. So square root of 16 is four that for this if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly do so now kindly do so now thank you very much for watching and bye for now